Good morning. Uh, so this morning, I think I'm just going to um, do a little bit of finishing off of the export function for Snippet Pixie. Um, I was thinking this morning that um, there's a couple of things I haven't tested. Um, and I think um, it probably needs a couple of tweaks. Um, so let's have a little look. Um, what I was thinking, so if I look at the export, um, what have we got? So in the CLI, we are doing a get snippets. We're just going to call the dbus server um, to um, grab a bunch of snippets. <clears throat> and it's going to do that. So if we look at the... Uh, manager and the get snippets which is what it's using it's ordering by the last used date and then the abbreviation which is not great for an export really you want something which is a stable output so that if you put it into git or something you know to, to save it or if you want to do a diff to see um, whether one system's missing some snippets and you then want to import and all that kind of stuff really what we need here is um, order by abbreviation and then id or something to give it stability um, so I need to do something slightly differently there. I either need to have a different form of get snippets, or I maybe need to give this um, some options. Which is probably the way to go. Although, so get snippets ending with abbreviation. Again, that should have ID in it to stabilize the order, just in case. I mean, abbreviation should be unique. And then we've got get snippets with abbreviation, which should only return one snippet so we're good there there's no order on that so um, if we're going to do an export what's the def what's the default we should have well Okay, while we're here, I'm going to put ID in I get snippets with abbreviation. Ending with abbreviation, sorry. That's a no-brainer. And then... And then get snippets. I think what we'll do is we'll make the last used an option 
So let's do something like um, Well, I could just do last used. Let's make it more obvious. Order by last used. Is it Boolean? I wish I could make that a true by default, just and uh, not have to pass it in. But anyway, okay. And then we'll do here. Um, if order by last used. So we'll start off the order by I should do that here. So order by that way I think. We always start with a space. Order by last used descending. And then here Now we're always going to follow on with the abbreviation, so we can do that. Just for stability. And the old PHP. Okay. So if if order by last used, we're gonna use last used to send in in the order by. Huh. I should actually do that. Can we do a plus equals? Good. Presume that works. Didn't complain, which is good. Okay, so we should end up with order by last used to send in abbreviation ID or order by abbreviation ID. Okay, that should be fine. Now, where do we call this? A bunch of tests, of course. So we're going to have to fix them up. Does the scale... No, no, we don't have any order by on there. So we can do a test for that later. But for the moment... We're going to need to just pass in um, false, I guess, because it's, I mean, we don't actually have yeah, 
we do that for the moment, and then we can do some tests later. Put that thing. Any more? Yep. Don't need the order by there for sure. Yeah, that's looking for second one to be www. Okay. And now I do need check on this so this is where it gets interesting I need to look for um, dbus service so this needs to change the interface. So any client that talks to the dbus service now needs to pass in um, order by last used. So we need to specify that. So we got so we got that one there. CLI. So this now needs to adhere to that. So this also needs order by last used. Bool. That needs to pass it into the dbus service. Let's just do a, um, a search. So we've covered that. We've got the interface set up there. Get snippets. Config. Okay. So that's going to be a change. We want to add an option, I guess. Well, I suppose we don't have to, but it'd be nice. Yeah, we'll do that. So Let's do um, uh, uh, 
past used as a bill. We'll do last used usage is equal to order by Order by most oops, recently used sure, not if the moment. So flags, um, I guess that'll be a bill. Bill of RP into last used. And it'll just be Last used. Short form. Thank you. Maybe L. See, L could be useful if I want to do some sort of long form output versus short form it's kind of a standard thing so yeah we'll keep you for the moment um and then uh the default value it's going to be false Got the last used usage. I think that's okay. Oh no, it should be true there, shouldn't it? Default value and usage stream. I got plan bin which to store the value of the flag. So
I'm not sure if that's right. But we'll find out when we do a test. I think I might have to put true there. Because by default this is false. If this flag is set, I want it to switch to true. But we'll test that assumption in a minute. What did I do there? Okay, so done that. Done the interface. Uh, we haven't finished this actually, have we? So it should be search. And last used. Oh. What am I supposed to do there? Oh dear. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Why not use the boolean before? Hmm, just to get the command. All right, so that's disproving my theory anyway. If you do do version, you get a true. That's fine. All right, so I've got a little problem there in that I've set arcs to be string. Which is not what I want. Mm. So I'm going to have a problem there, aren't I? Because I want a mixed. Mixed type, really. I mean, I could pass in like true and false. As a string. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I do this is going to get a bit silly. Can I do something as daft as that? 
Oh, apparently I can. That means I can do any input. <laughs> okay. So the problem I've got is we're going to then do things like that I mean I guess I could just pluck that out as a string can you do that can I do Apparently not. <laughs> this is tricky. Do I have to create a different interface? Just for passing that. Don't really want to do all that. Hmm. There's all kinds of things we could do here. We could have I guess we could probably do some sort of map. We could do I could do something very structured. Or oh, we could have different types of arcs been passed there, and we pluck them out. Hmm. That is a pain in the posterior. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, we just so happen to be using strings all the way at the moment. Not sure what to do there because that's quite a lot of change now just for that one option i didn't really have the time for that <clears throat> i caught in a bit earlier because i need to go and uh, do something a bit earlier than normal today so um i might get a phone call <laughs> Uh, okay, go make a decision here. Well, to be honest, I actually need to find a little bit more information as to what I can do. Let's... I think what I'll do is I'll assume that I can fix this in a minute and just find all the other areas where I might have problems before I do so and then um, and then I'll have a little bit more information as to what I need so get snippets ending don't need to change that that's always a straight abbreviation ID get snippets is where we have made the changes that's the command and the config and then we've got tests that we need to sort out So in theory, mm. So that's where we're going to have a problem again. Because Let's say we let's 
So we duplicate that. If I ever do it twice. And here. So we've got get snippet search. What did I do there? Did I? Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, so right. So that's a straight update. What I can do here, in theory, is. used and we can expect this is where it breaks again true this is the problem this is not what we want we need something different here to be passed to get snippets as the arguments so in all these cases I want to do that Here and here and here and then I can muck about with stuff here, so I can do this. used. Here I can do short version, make sure that works. Oh, actually, I've done that in the wrong order. to do that. Differently, but I will do to show only with that there. We'll sort this out, so. That must be nine. At some point I'm gonna find out what that is. Because it doesn't come up. Um, so I've done that, do that, long form, two short forms, got here I think I need to do a version which is just last used and then get the defaults So expect that. 
And then again here, we just want the short form and get the default. Ideally, I want them a bit earlier. So we can see the difference there. So last used default value, we'll get all short form, get all long form and a search string on its own, short form and a search string on its own. Search param and last used. Short form of those. Search param and used. That's quite nice. That's fine. That covers a bunch of stuff there. Although it's all broken by that, so I'm never. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to finish that today. I might have to <laughs> do this after the Christmas holidays. Um, okay. But, because I'm going to have to work out what to do there. Right, I've done that. Yeah, so we've done all that, done that, done that. Done all that now. We are we in the D-Bus. That's good, yeah. Okay, export needs fixing up. Oh. That's the actual one we need to do. So that's that. That's, that's kind of getting us to the point where we actually pass in the value we, we need to not order by last used. That's the whole point of this. Um, and here. Get snippets is to pass in two arcs now. Again, not liking it because it's a string. And then in the Damon Okay. So that's now gonna have to expect order by last used as a bill. It needs to pass that in. So this is in the in the daemon. It's dbus. This is how it's kind of exporting its dbus service. It says, "Right, I've got this snip get snippets, which takes a search string and an order by last used boolean, and then I can actually go do stuff with that and return a dbus." Snippet set. So yeah, we've got that. So that's fine. Done that, done that. And now this is the debus service test. Right, we 
is scaling up. We are Oh, interesting. Okay. So things are going in in a different order now. But we should expect BP first and then SP and then WW. Yeah. BP. BP. It's the first there. If we're asking for Wibble, we only get W back and we'll get none back there. That's fine. Okay. That's assuming we pass in false. Uh, but I mean, none of them have got a last year's date set anyway, so we're good. Okay, just done all that. Ending abbreviation doesn't have any changes. Done that. That's where we're doing it. Okay, so not there, not there. Ending abbreviation we don't care about. Snippets test we've done. And then the interface we've set. Okay, so we've covered everything now. The only problem is it's all broken because <laughs> I've got to work out what to do about these args. And the config. How am I going to deal with that? What's a good way of passing mixed? Can I do some sort of mixed slice? I know that doesn't exist, but that's what I want. So, colang mixed type <laughs> slice. We'll see what we'll come up with. Someone's got to say something. Oh, there we go. Good old stack overflow. Um, Might go and look at that in a minute. Uh, okay, yeah, I might have to just have to do a custom type. Um, okay. Oh, uh, we've got a map. Okay. Right. Hmm. So yeah, so they use an interface.
Okay, so that might be the way to do it then, because I can do a map where the key is a string, and then the interface can be whatever type I like. Uh, but how? Then I just have to switch on the type of it, I guess. Do a uh, type switch. Start to remember it's all worked the same way. It's been doing it at all. Go open that in a sec. Each value literal just needs the type specified when the containing type doesn't already specify the type. I map slice array of interface type and every list of values is enclosed in braces, not brackets as in JSON. So, slice of interface with slices of interface that has no value, which takes, right, so it takes interface Okay, wow, that's okay. Interfaces of interfaces. Yeah. Hmm. God, it's fine. So, yeah, well, I'm not really worried about littles at the moment. So that's not really going to help, I think. Okay, so that's going to do It doesn't know what it is, so it says nil nil. Then it says, okay, I'm an integer now. And then it says, I'm a string. Because it's using the T for type, okay. So this is where we get into type assertions and type switches, isn't it? Uh, okay.
Okay, so what I could do is I could have a map with string keys and interface type. And then pass them in to the functions doing the type assertion. And if it goes wrong, it's going to go bang. Or could do the type switch. Don't really need that though. I'll rapidly run out of time because I'm going to get a call base in. But I think what we need to do here is make this a map. String. which is going to break everything but it does make it a lot easier. To handle because it's going to be. I didn't like. Um, I didn't like using arg0 and arg1. At least here I can say, okay, give me the abbreviation or the search or the last used. Give me the value. Yeah, it's got to be better in the long run. Uh, but now I need to learn about maps because they are not. Uh, super, there right, we go. Maps. Right, map, maps, keys to values. As you value of a map is nil, a nil map has no keys, nor can be it. Make function returns a map of the given type, initialized and ready for used. use. Okay, so I need to do this. How do you do that with an interface? Okay, so it's make map and then map lib tools are like struct lib tools, but the keys are required. Okay. All right, so I don't need to do make map then. If I'm going to do, yeah. So if I declare it first, I need to make it, do I? Hmm. Probably not. 
top level type is just type name. You can omit it from the element of all the littles. Do what? Oh, okay. So there, it's saying, okay, give me a vertex, blah, blah, blah. But in this next one, we already know it's got to be a vertex. And then mutating maps. Okay, just wallop it in there. Get it by its key. Okay, then we've got a delete function. Test that key is present with a two value assignment. Okay, if key is in M, okay. If key is not in the map, then M is the zero value of the type. Okay, so what if it's an interface? I guess it'll be nil. If element or OK have not yet been declared, you could use a short declaration form. OK, fine. All right, so that's going to go nil then, isn't it? That's going to say false there. All right, value is zero because it's an integer. And there, zero, but it's false. Yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah, not doing the exercise. Right. Okay. What am I going to do here then? Well, I'm kind of stuck. So I think I've just about run out of time. Um. I need to do lots of fix ups. Good thing is, I've got lots of red everywhere. Beauty of having a uh, typed language. Um, I can just work through all these changes and uh, see what's what. Um, but I think I need to stop now, really. Um, well, I could make a couple of changes here, can I? I could try. So let's do. Um, so. We know, All right, can I just assign a literal here? Let's try that. Uh, so, that's a good point. If you don't have
But yeah, so in this version, I can't do that. I need to do that. So do I do, let's check again, All right, map string. So it's a map, which takes a string. It's doing an interface jobby. Can assign oh I know I've got to name things well ping response sounds okay ping response now this is where it's going to get interesting because it's going to go ping response because oh, I don't know what that is I mean, should I really be doing? Could I really just say instead that's a string? Because if I did this instead, would it complain? Yes, okay. Fine. Response, our name. Yeah, I think it might work. variation and body. Okay. 
It's good because we don't actually need to do this in a particular order anymore. We don't need to do the arc zero and one and all that rubbish. So it's a lot better. Search here. Here we just use last use as well, I think. Okay. And here again, it's abbreviation. on the new line stuff but consistency eh? all right so that's all of them set in anyway and now the tests are going to be a mess um okay So expected args is now changed. The map of interface. <sighs> Gotta change all those now. Ugh. Don't have to do anything there, do I? No. I think I'm okay there. Uh, right. <laughs> So, this will be interesting. So, I want to substitute that string. map string interface I don't need a global that didn't work very well There's one at the end. Ah, oh, the beginning. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Um... Okay. What I can do instead is it's always a comma space in the thing. So I can do that. There we go. Right. 
So now we've got to put in the bit we need. So we're going to want here, it's going to be um, response. Do that again. Response. Like that. And then again. Nil. Response. Response. And now down here. It's an abbreviation and body. Let's get all these abbreviations done first. It's a lot of them. Move snippet be the same. Um, yeah, that's another abbreviation, isn't it? Get snippets. That's different than search. So we can come back to that in a minute. Here we're doing body. If I only had done this map thing earlier, eh? Less uh, mucking about. Okay, that's that, that's that, that's that. And now we need to sort out what we're doing here. Get snippets. So this is search. I've got a bunch of those. Yeah. Here we're doing last year's, but I'm just going to finish off doing all the search bits first. We always expect a search prime. export. So we can come back to that. Oh, uh, that's my phone call. One second. And we're back. Um, so it's a little under 10 hours later. Um, I've got my car from the garage. I've done a day of work. Um, uh, had dinner with family and now I'm going to try and finish off what we were working on earlier. Um, so let's just see if I can remember what I was doing this morning. Uh, it'd be nice to just get it done um, and then I can go uh, have Christmas basically. So um, right so we were working on getting uh, the map interface and we were down doing search so we had all the list stuff done here map map search okay so now we need to do the bits that we're actually interested in the reason we're doing this um so we now need to enter a 
um, last used. Um, so, okay, I think I'm right there. Get on with that. Actually, we've got true there. Oh, yeah, it's because that's what we've turned on there. Okay. Now, that means possibly... Um, looking at that now... That I probably... Need to specify last used false. Um, otherwise... So that would be because of where's config? Oh no, it's main, isn't it? Oh no, it will be in config. Um, so yeah. Always going to be set in last used. So we should expect that back. And it should always be true or false. Okay, so we definitely need to add that to all these list items. So here, right, we've done all the others with true. So we now need to do. Last used false, and we need to do that there, 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 and that's it. Okay, and then on the export, we need to fix up. Now I think we did file. Right, I've got application last used. So when the command is export, we're expecting file name. Okay. So, our name, our name, our name. Okay. So I believe we're good there. We have Niels. A response and then I add snippet we have abbreviation and body remove we have the abbreviation and on the list we have search and last used and we've done that wrong that should be mixed case This is not, well, I don't know actually whether it's case sensitive, but let's assume it is. Okay. I think we're good there. Got file name, file name, file name. Okay. Any more in here? Don't think so. Okay, uh, now I think previously we were doing a search for get snippets, that's right. I'm just going down and picking out all the places where we're going to fix things up. So 
So we've got all that sorted. Uh, got order by last used. I've done all that. And now we need to do the actual CLI main where it's doing the actual calls. So config is done. So we've got a config, a uh, blank config. Do, do, do. Calls run. Does config in it. And now we're going to have different form of args here. This is where it's going to be fun to try and work out what what we do. So somehow I need to pluck um, something out of the map there. So presumably, I can pluck out response and then do oh, it was um, a type assertion returns a value. So it's something maybe like that. Yeah, that's a type of session, isn't it? So I'm saying whatever comes out of that, I'm returning a string version of it. Uh, so if we're good there. Status does a blank response always, um, and then export. What are we doing on export? <laughs> yeah, it's going to just override anyway, isn't it? So we need to pass in the file name arc. So here we're looking for the file name and we're again looking at a string. Here we are just doing a get snippets, which is the whole reason we were doing this. We're doing a get snippets, snippets, and we are not ordering by last used. It's that one call. That's the whole reason we're doing all this change and just the way that we handle arcs. So here, well, kind of that call. Um, so here we are doing add snippet. So that's going to be an abbreviation we're going to want as the first arg. Again, that's a string. And then here it's body. Again, it's a string. And then get snippets. So this is for the list. Um, 
and we want a string and a bool. So, okay, so this is where we're going to get to do something slightly different. So we're looking for the search entry, and that should be a string. And then here, we're looking for um, last used, and that is a bool. Actually, get to use the boolean there. Um, so that's the second reason that we definitely need it. Well, I guess that's the whole reason that we actually needed to do this because we needed to pass in version. Okay, so remove snippets. That is an abbreviation. And that must be a string. Okay. That's another one down. What else have we got left to do? So we've been through all them. And we've just done that. Now onto the debus stuff. So in the daemon. Uh, we should be good here because this is all kind of native functionality. There's no passing across the dbus there. And here in the dbus test, We've already worked out that we just want to do unordered by last used. We just want them in their abbreviation order. So we're good for that. Ending with doesn't change. And we've done the work here already. So if we have order by last used, we slot in last used descending. Otherwise, it's going to be abbreviation ID. Yeah, so in the tests, basically always want false as the arg, because we haven't got any tests for last used yet. Okay. So that, in theory, is done. Well, should we give it a go? Um, so, right, first of all, let's bump that up a bit. And then we'll do a make a test and see what kind of mess we have. Oh, passed. Okay, should we just make it fail just in case? Um, so, in uh config test let's see if we can get this to fail by doing um all right first of all well let's say that we expect true back on this one which has Definitely false. So in theory, should get a failure. Good. Last used false is not equal to last used true. That's good. 
And if I then delete it entirely, do we get the same kind of problem? Yeah, so we expected, sorry, we expected search SP, but we got last used false search SP. So that's good. Okay, so I'll just put it all back. Save it, test again, make sure we haven't broken it. Okay. Um, well, I guess to make and then we haven't actually got that many snippets in there. So maybe I should do a little uh, switch through in a minute. But anyway, so first off, Get the daemon up and running. And then in here, we'll go into command CLI. I want to snippet list. There they are. And in theory, we can do Um, last used, it's not going to make any difference because both of them have got the same. Uh, I can imagine I was doing a reverse soon, but not today. Uh, then what else can we test? Oh, we can do just a quick search. Or www. There we go. Just get the one. And didn't break. Okay. And then while we're in here, oh yeah, we can do our reason for this. Um, which is export, oh, which we haven't got that yet, we've got export. I really do need to do a sub command. So now we've got snippets. Uh, and it's definitely in that order, but it's always going to be in that order. Because last used zero. Yeah, we need to we need to get some uh, snippets in here, but we haven't got the import yet. So that's going to be the next big task. So can we, can we fake it? I know. Let's go. Let's go in here. So that's the database. I'm going to remove it. And then I'm going to take a copy of. No, I've got. Have I got? I don't think I have. I have. Okay. This is probably a bit old. Actually, let's have a look. Let's see how long ago it was updated. August. But that's fine. I'm going to take that copy of that. Otherwise, I have to start looking in my um, and I'm using the snap version 
and then I'll have to go look in the snap data. Uh, but I'll take that. So take that and we'll copy that here as snippet pixie d db. Okay, and so go back here. Now, if I go, if I have a look on here, so in theory, why, what's going on? This should say it's got the old version now. Yep, 150. And the database tables for the snippets. Uh, we've got a whole bunch here. And so I'm expecting that kind of order if using last used. Otherwise, I'm expecting that order. Okay, so I should have one time and then the ats come out. Uh, otherwise, I expect <laughs> my usual support. Someone got a shrug. All right, um, so let's have a look, see if we can get that going. So get the daemon up and running. And Let's zoom this. Right, I'm going to remove that so we're under, so we know for absolutely sure it's gone. And then I'm just going to do a export. And definitely need to do a sub command. Done. So how big is that compared? So that was previous version was only 369 bytes. This one is 16,000. Um, and if I look at it, what order is it in? There you go, one time. One time, one time at blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's look for a last use. Oh, there's already a last use there, look. That's not got, so this one down here, it's mixed in. That's good. Sorted. Done. Right. Um, oh, what's at the top here? So we've got generator version and then we've got the new new data format which is fine that's good okay well i think that's it done then um we have snippets being exported in the correct order in the new format um So, delete that file now. I guess we can commit that off. Can't think there's no reason. Oh, should I check? Oh, before I do that. I should double check the list works properly. So, um, snippet list, uh, and then I'll just pipe that through less. 
so yep so we're getting the one time blah 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 coming out okay that's in the normal order um then we've got other dates there and if i do last used yeah we'll get the order that we expected the please help blah 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 the shrug all that kind of stuff good stuff okay we can commit that so what do we do um Uh, so, let's well export an abbreviation order and and allow types in config arg. I think that probably makes enough sense to me. Okay. Um, so I think, I mean, the only other thing that I was a little bit, that I thought I probably should fix up is the export of, um, um, version 101. So at the moment, we've got no way of doing that. Um, and there is a bit of an issue in that the export is also going to export extra data there, if I do do that. So the snippets that are going to come out, if I do that, are going to be including a UUID um, and last used and the previous export didn't include those. I'm not sure whether that's going to be a problem or not on the import. Um, possibly not. We haven't. Oh, we have got. Oh, okay. I did. Oh, I did prepare for that. So, so what I could do is, um, no, let's, in here, After getting the snippets, mm. 
we could do version OK. Cedar arcs. I'm trying to remember this from this morning, so something like that. And then that. If I'm correct. That is doing a check if we've got that got a version parameter, sorry, version key in the map. And that will go that creates that should output a version and OK if it exists. Otherwise, that will be whatever the type is. And we're doing a type conversion to integer there. So what we could do in theory is then if if okay and version equals one. There and there. And then right indented version file. True and just pass the version because we've got that. That would help if we want to do a little bit of a change later on. But I think that's right, isn't it? File name snippets indented and version. So while we haven't actually got the config for that yet, that should still compile and should still work, he says. Should still test. And then we'd have to then do a config update for all the tests as well. Uh, but, right, so that's still running. The daemon's still running. So I could still do. Export and we should still have snippets now. Yeah, no, actually, let's do this so that we can do it again. So the head is two oh one. Still using the new data format, of course. So if I go back into config, default. So this is where I really want to have a sub command for it.
Yeah. We could do that. So what would we base that one off? Want simple. Let's take Okay, let's take list, I think. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. We need to change it quite a bit anyway. And this is going to be an export. Export options. I do. I think we'll not do search for the moment because that is complicating things a little bit. Um, Yeah. Okay, and then we'll swap search out for um this with version. Legacy version
just need to do that. Okay, uh, right, so then we want the version, which could be short form V, and it's going to be zero, and presumably we can do some sort of int Can we do int bar? Yeah, int var p. Uh, that should be an int. Because we're only doing very short numbers here. Um, did -did -did -did. Pass the args. I don't think we need to do that at all, do we? Don't need to check. It's either set or it's not. So... Correct them. So if we do an export, export sub command and specify, we then specify a version. We default to zero, although we could do 201 there. But zero means we're not going to recognize it. So that should work. Um, and then in the main here, we've done that. So if we get a version, we're going to add its 101 which is not correct. That's a good point. I think what is the version? Here's what I want. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We only have version 101 before now. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, so that should work. And then we need to do in the config test. We can now have a export subcommand with a version, so have we got an easy one here to pick off? Not really. Oh, I've got to do the phone name, of course. Oh, ah, of course. That's right. Export is actually a file name. So 
So here, so we need um, all of this again but we're going to call it slightly differently So this is going to be slightly different. We need to have this as well, we can keep on that and then do And if it's not set, then we use the default, and then here, of course, need file name, which is going to be the So that's right, isn't it? So here, file to export. Ooh. I could do file name maybe did. Uh, what if I set up here then? I'll do for the moment. We can always uh, fix that up later. Uh, yeah, so we've got a file name and version. So in the config test, let's take these three, do them again, but this time. So we can do export and we expect file name to be the default and version to be zero. We have File name there on export again version zero and then the short form. Which 
is an F now. And again, version. And then we'll double up. And we will do export version. So version equals because why not? Here do the same. Version equals 101. But here we'll do the short form minus V equals 1. And in that case, expect version 101. Okay, so that's hopefully the convex done. File name version. Uh, in the main, if we get an export come through, just do that. Oh, config. Uh, we need to pick out export here. Actually, need to be able to do it. Should probably do that. Okay. And then in main, that should be okay. If we get an export, get the snippets, check the version parameter. If it's okay and it's 101, then we're going to write out that. Otherwise, we're just going to default out to uh, the normal format. We'll leave that for a moment. We could error out if there's like an inconsistency there, but hopefully the config check-in and stuff will get there first. Um, so... That's it. He says, optimistically, let's try. Um, this is all CLI, isn't it? There's nothing outside of the CLI changed. So I should be able to do, right, make test here. Panics, that's not good. Seventy five. What did I do? Oh, so the init is failing. Huh. Why?
Hmm. Where was the panic then? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight going into... One eight six. So 28 should be the call in. Yep. And then it's 186. Ah. Running. <laughs> there you go. Make test. Sorted. Okay. Make. Um, still running. So snippet pixie. Export. Version 101. The snippets. We now have version 101 data. Still got the ID stuff in. Don't want that. But I think that's not a problem. But we'll see. I might test it out later. And then if I do... Export without, and then look at the same file. It's now version 201. If I do, so let's remove that. Um, and if I do export our name equals wibble.json and then do it again 101 uh, let's do minus v this time for fun 101 got two different files there diff them uh, let's do 101 first and then JSON there. Yeah, quite a difference now because of the extra indent. Yeah, that is a problem. Yeah, it's not going to diff well, is it? Because of that. Yeah, it's very different. Okay, so it's not worth doing a diff. So uh, just look at the wibbles. So the 101 has the right format and is complete. Looks good. And then if we move on to wibble, it's version 201 and it has the slightly more sane format. Good. Okay. I think we're done with the export function for the moment anyway, until we find something else. Enable. So we've like 
add export sub command with session. Sorted. All right. Need my hot chocolate. Oh, it's not so hot. Okay. I think. I think that's enough. I think. I can now say. This is done. Oh, one thing I do want to do though. Uh, snippet pick C. Oh, see, this is the problem, isn't it? I haven't got the um, help sorted out yet, but eek, that's not <laughs> that's not great. Yeah, I need to do that for all of the uh, commands. And I definitely don't want the default to be expanded like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, something to be sorted out at some point. Yeah, it's even on there. I mean, it says what it's going to do, but really don't want to be doing a full expanded file name there. Although we don't even need to do that anymore. Okay, uh, let's, I think. I bet, I bet it still works if we do this. I think we found that out by just doing Wibble and so on. So if I go update the default one as well, I reckon I could take out all of this and just do this here too. Oops. And then in the config test, I'll do need to do the same. Let's do that test. So make a test, okay. Make and then help. That's better. Um, and if I do export help, still a bit messy, but yeah, still better. And if I actually do it, snippet export, it does put it where I am which is exactly what I want. So I didn't need to do the working directory thing at all. If I do what 
wonder if it'll do expansion. So if I do that. Yeah, okay. What about if I do that? Interesting. People.json just been created. Great. Okay. So there's a way I did it. It just hasn't got um like bash which an expansion but it will do other ones that's fine okay we can work with that that's fine another thing fixed up uh oh what did i do there mm. I think good. I thought I clicked on something then. Uh, no. Something funny is going on there. Okay, that's better. Let's do a quick top level make test clean make that's all looking good make test verbose lots of tests I think we're good Use shorter path or default export. Okay, and another push. Lots of commits. All right, I think that's me done. Um, so I am quitting that and I am closing this off. I am saying, um, CLI export minus C and export sub with our name and version options complete Are implemented. Resolved. Okay. One down. Eight to go. Cool. Well, uh, that was a bit longer. Um, and a couple of sessions kind of spliced together there um, because of the interruption of a day of work and so on um, but it was just good to get that done um, completed um, before I kind of finish for holiday season um, so I'll be probably not recording anymore for a while um, if I may may get a bit of time sort of in between Christmas and New Year maybe to do something um, but the chances are I won't be recording again until Probably January the 5th or something, maybe. Um, but we'll see. You never know. Um, but anyway, uh, 
So until next time, thank you very much for watching uh, and you take care.